Hello all and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be installing Boss for Oblivion. So in this video, once again, I'm going to assume two things that you already have uh, uh, Oblivion installed, that you have a Nexus Mods account, and a third thing uh, that you have Rybash installed. If you don't have those three things, now is a great time to do it. So hit the pause button on the video, go and do those things, and then you can come back, hit play, and pick up right where you left off. We have a Rybash video, and that will be in the cards, and it will also be a link in the description. So the first thing you're going to want to do, the, uh, the easiest way to find Boss is to go to Oblivion and Games, and then you're going to want to navigate to Bevelex's mod list for Oblivion. You're just going to type Bevelex in this search bar, and then this is going to pop up. I think it will be the first one. And you click on it, and you can scroll all the way down till you see Boss. And you right-click, open link in New tab. You can see I already had one opened up. And it'll bring you to this page, and I will link this page in the description of the video. But then, once you're at this page, you're going to want to download Boss on GitHub. And then you're going to do this Boss Installer. And you're going to show in folder. And then I'm just going to take it to my OBSC e file. It can be any file that you want. Right click, you're gonna need your 7-zip archive extractor, which I'll also link that to the description in the video. Uh, if you don't have one, but you will need that, you're gonna extract here. And then you're gonna see this boss installer come up. You're gonna double click. Click yes. You're gonna want it in English. Then this is the wizard. So you're gonna click next. Now, this is where you're going to want to browse some options. So what I have done, and I would strongly suggest that you do the same. You would go to this PC. OS. Now, you can install it anywhere you want, but you do not put it in Program Files 86. That will cause issues. My uh, then, I, then I have a Modding Tools file right here. Boss. Like I said, you're going to have to create this on your own. So it's just program files, modding tools, boss, install. Completed. Hit next. You're going to uncheck these two boxes. Okay, and now you have boss installed. But now one of the things that you're going to want to do is you're going to want to get a shortcut in your Rybash. So you're going to exit out of these files here. Open up your Oblivion shortcut. Go to Mopi. Go to Apps. And you see this Apps file is blank for now. But this is where, if you want to run programs through Rybash, this is where you're going to put those programs. So now we're going to go to the boss folder that we created. We're going to go to the boss executable, which is this one right here. In fact, we're going to just rename it in uppercase here, boss. Right click, we're going to create a shortcut. Yes. So now here's boss. We're going to just put it right in here. And then to make sure that this is done correctly, we want to open up Rybash. And I don't know, uh, I don't know if you can see it, but now you have boss launch boss shortcut right here. It will be a lot bigger on your screen. It's just because of my uh, 4k resolution on this monitor. And it's actually a TV, which is why it's giving us issues, but it will be all the way to the right. I actually have two and there'll be another one right here it says launch boss and so if you have those icons on in your Rybash you know you have done it correctly so thank you guys for coming by I hope this video was helpful for you to install boss for oblivion 
Uh, if this was helpful for you, make sure you hit that like button. And if you want to see more content like this, hit that subscribe button and that bell notification button. If you need more help, we have a Discord server that you can join. Uh, the link will be in the description of the video. We would love to see you there. And I will see you guys in the next one.